Zach Sauce is out there to tell us a little bit more about what happened. There you are, Zach. Uh, Zach, I want to ask you a question before you start. That toll plaza there looks pretty slow. Even in those carpool lanes, uh, is it slow? Yeah, I mean, you would expect the toll plaza to be backed up on any day around this hour, but what you can't see from this angle is just the insane line that just really, really extends uh, seemingly for for miles down that way uh, beyond me. So yeah, incredibly backed up right now. And and basically, we mentioned what's, what caused all of this earlier this morning, uh, actually all night long, police negotiating with a person who was suffering a mental health crisis on the bridge. Uh, they, they managed to talk that person off of the bridge uh, about two hours ago and put him in an ambulance. And uh, he's now getting a mental health evaluation. But again, all this starting around 10 p.m. last night, the highway patrol closing several lanes as they tried to talk that person off the bridge. And because of that, traffic began quickly backing up triggering a crash around 1130 involving a big rig and a Dodge Charger near the on-ramp at Treasure Island. That Dodge Charger rear-ending the truck and the aftermath of all that captured by this Tesla driver cam. Two people killed inside that car for several hours. All lines, all lanes rather, uh, along the bridge shut down as crews worked to clear that wreck. And while police continue to negotiate with that person having a mental health crisis, but again, police have now removed that person from the bridge. All lanes back open here. But the residual traffic that we're seeing, that will probably continue for quite some time going westbound onto the Bay Bridge. For now, we're live in Oakland. Zach Sauce, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Zach